welcome back to the channel today we're going to be watching game of thrones season 5 episode 1 guys we're already on season 5 i don't know about you but this is coming like this is going by really damn fast oh i didn't turn this on but i don't know about you but this is this feels like it's going by pretty dang fast now we're already in season 5 now, if I'm not mistaken, there's eight seasons, so we got five, six, seven, eight. We have four left. We're halfway done with the show. Cool. Halfway done. <sighs> this is kind of why I switched it back to once a week, because this is kind of why I switched it to once a week, just because I don't want to get through the show too fast. I want to enjoy the journey, you know? I want to have fun with it. I want to soak it all in as much as I can, so... But in the last episode, last episode was pretty fucking crazy. So, and so John, okay, after the Night's Watch just defended against Mance, John went to Mance to negotiate. He was actually going to go and kill him. But then Mance made him a pretty good deal saying like, hey, okay, John, if you, we need to get through the, your gates, we need to get through the wall. So if you just let all my men go through, okay, because we're not staying on this side of the wall when winter comes, let us through and no one else will die. No one else has to die, you know? And, okay, I couldn't, okay, honestly, I don't know if Mance was telling the truth or not. I wanna think, I wanna say he was. I wanna think that he was telling the truth. Like he wasn't just gonna kill them all anyway. But then you got people like Ramsey, who, what, he had Theon go tell all the Ironborn he needed to evacuate and he'll let you live. And they surrendered, but he just killed them all anyway. You know, on Moat Kaelin. So, I, I, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I, but I, I would say Mance is a lot better of a person than Ramsey is. So maybe he was, I don't know. Who knows but it, but it honestly doesn't matter because guess who showed up stannis stannis showed up and it was like all right your army's mine now he's like all right you're mine now i'm taking over and so now that all just went to shit so okay cool stannis is running manson everyone there and it's like oh shit that's fucking late you know like good for stannis you know <laughs> like damn melisandre was kind of eyeballing Jon snow i noticed so uh, I hope she doesn't try and like sacrifice him. I really hope she doesn't try and do any of the shit she did with Granji with John. You know, who knows? I mean, John's not a king, so he's not the son of a king. So like, it doesn't matter. But I don't know. She was eyeballing him. She's gonna do some shit with him. So, and then fast forward a little bit. Basically, Big B and Pod were on their way to go find Sansa and Arya, and they found Arya with the Hound. And Big B figured out, oh, that's Arya. Okay. Okay, he's like, she's like, Arya, you need to come with me. And Arya doesn't know who she is. So Arya was like, no, I'm not fucking going with you. What the fuck would I? And the hound was like, the hound was being really protective of Arya too. He was he was basically just like, why the fuck would she go with you? You were like, after Big B explained, I was supposed to protect your mother, blah, blah. They were like, well, why'd you let her die then? You know, and it's like, well, she wasn't really there. The hound was like, yeah, she, you let everyone around you dies. So no. And then they started fighting, right? And... It was a pretty good fight pretty good fight pretty even honestly pretty back and forth very competitive fight but big b she came out the victor because like they both got fucked up pretty badly but the hound felt like she kicked the hound off a cliff it wasn't that big of a cliff but it was enough to like finish him off but, like he didn't die from the fall but then Arya found him like just kind of just chilling there and like yeah he he has enough damage like he's going to die over the course of the next couple hours if he doesn't get help immediately but no one's around to help him and so he was kind of just like look Arya, like i'm gonna die regardless just kill me now it's gonna be a quicker death but no no she just left him there no she didn't kill him he was literally begging for her to kill him because he would just rather have a quicker death but nope she said nope fuck you fuck you you know to him which kind of hurts because like i was really starting to like him like i really liked him but but technically he didn't die on screen you know he was just kind of left there to die so maybe he doesn't die highly doubt it maybe he comes back but i doubt it but it's possible it's possible since it wasn't on screen so and then fast forward a little bit more into the episode 
Jamie lets Tywin escape. Nah. No. Jamie lets Tyrion out. He's like, look, Varys is waiting for you. He's gonna take you on a ship. And he's gonna take you the fuck out of here, right? And Tyrion was like, oh, I got some shit to do. And he pulls up. He was go. He went to Tywin's chambers. Pretty sure because he was originally going to kill Tywin, but he saw Shay there, and he's like, oh my god. He was like, this fucking bitch. And then she woke up and saw him, so he offed her. He choked her, which really hurt to see. That was really fucking tough. Cause Shay's been around since like season one, too. I'm pretty sure she was around season one. They, I'm pretty sure they first met in season one. So, but then he grabbed the crossbow from the room, and he killed Tywin on the toilet really sucks to see Tywin go and I'm pretty sure that was Joffrey's crossbow that he killed Roz with and he was just fucking whipping around for like no reason so kind of funny how he used jo if that was Joffrey's crossbow that's kind of funny but kind of suck like you know it sucks to see Tywin go I was really starting to like him a lot because <sighs> like he was just he was just ahead of everyone like he just manipulated the fuck out of everyone and it was great it was great but so RIP to Tywin damn but I'm actually kind of curious to see how everyone's going to react to that. Like, I don't think Jamie expected him to go kill Tywin once he released Tyrion. He's probably like, look, Tyrion, just get out of here as fast as you can. You know, he didn't expect him to go there and kill him. So I'm pretty excited to see how Jamie's going to react to it. I'm curious to see how Cersei is going to react to it because she was pretty pissed at her father because he was trying to make her, he was trying to force her to marry Loras. And she was like, no, I'm not fucking marrying him. But now I guess she doesn't have to anymore. I think she's going to be really pissed off that Tyrion killed him. I think she'll be more pissed off about the fact that Tyrion killed him rather than her dad actually dying. I don't I don't think she's really going to care that much about her dad dying. Like, oh, she's going to be like, that sucks. But she's like, well, now I don't have to marry Loras. So, but it's going to piss her off more knowing it was Tyrion that did it. So, because she fully believes that Tyrion killed Joffrey. And so Tyrion killing Tywin, her dad... That's just gonna fucking make her hate him even more. And I can't wait to see that. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you wanna watch the full length uncut version of this reaction, that will be available on Patreon. As of early access, the next two episodes will also be on Patreon. So let's get started. You don't need to be afraid of my father. Okay, looks like new characters, but I have a feeling this is a young Cersei. She's talking about her father. Kind of, it look that's like Cersei's same hairdo, hairstyle. Shouldn't go in. Of course we should. And it's like the same exact outfit Cersei would wear too that she's been wearing. You're boring. You don't know what I am. I know you're a witch. Watch your mouth. Everyone wants to know their future until they know their future. Okay, this this girl's a Loki a bitch, just like Cersei. Tell me my future, or I'll have your two boring eyes gouged out of your head. Jesus. All right, yeah, she's just like Cersei. Has to be her. <laughs> oh. I've been promised to the prince. Okay. When will we marry? You'll never wed the prince. <laughs> You'll wed the king. Ooh, yeah, Robert. Oh, yes. You'll be queen. For a time. Mm hmm There's another. Marge. Younger. More beautiful. To cast you down and take all you hold dear. Marge. <laughs> we have to go. Cersei! Yep. I fucking knew it. That was Cersei. Does she know about Tywin yet? Probably. I'm just not going to show her reaction. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> From all seven kingdoms. They will wait. Oh my god. Hasn't changed at all. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, it's fucking the things they they did the same shit that Joffrey. It was just as funny. <laughs> Them out there are enemies. Mm-hmm. Probably. The man who murdered our father, he tore us apart. He's the enemy. No. I've been telling Tyrion maybe a monster, but at least he killed our father on purpose. Okay, yeah, that, that was, this was on purpose. You killed him by mistake. The stupidity. And Jamie killed him by mistake. Fuck. He loved you more than anyone in this world. 
the thing he was most proud of was Jamie. Like that, that gave him the most pride out of anything. Dude, how many fucking days was it? Was he in this box for? His beard was not that thick in the last last time we saw him. I still don't see why I had to stay in this fucking crate once we set sail. I saved your life. Yeah. <laughs> Westeros needs to be saved from itself. Facts. The future is shit. Just like the past. He's a, oh. He's a broken man. He doesn't give a fuck anymore. I mean, there's really no reason for him to care anymore. Everything and everyone he ever had is gone. Oh, is this Young Kai and they're taking it down? Damn. Oh, he just wants to cuddle. He just wants sex. <gasps> what? Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wait, who the fuck is this? Yes, your grace. They left it on the body. They've never killed before. Is that no Why sex? Why would an go to a brothel? Uh, no sex, just love and affection. That's all. Comforting. I do not know. I must go. It's because their love language is physical touch. That's why. Ooh, yeah. John's training the boy. You be training too. Nah. How many brothers can say that they've killed a White Walker and a Fen? I might be the first in history. <laughs> yeah, probably. Always young. Okay, is this guy gonna be a fucking prick still? Cause last time I saw him, he was kind of cool. That one hates me. Still prick. Shield up. The king wants a word. Mmm. God, I do. I don't trust her and John. No, I don't trust her with John. I dude, she has such bad. She has bad intentions for John. I already know it. I already know it. <laughs> the way she's looking at him. You're not cold, my lady. Never. <laughs> the Lord's fire lives within me, John Snow. Oh no, oh no. Are you a virgin? Nope. No. Good. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh. She wants an experienced man. No, nah, she, she does. I mean, she has other intentions, probably. You know who rules at Winterfell now? There's a dagger in Rob Stark's heart. <clears throat> Don't you want to avenge him? Yes. Too much affection for the wildlings. They were born on the wrong side of the wall. Doesn't make them monsters. Yep. I shall take back the north from the thieves who stole it. Tywin Lannister is dead. He can't protect them now. Thank you. Mount Bruce Bolton's head on a spike. If you do that, Stannis, you will become my favorite character. Your Grace, you want the wildlings to march in your army? Fuck yes. The realm. I'll give them land to live on. Perfect. It's a fair offer. That's very fair, yes. Fair. I'll offer them their lives and their freedom. It's where's his loyalty. I don't think that's likely. Mm, yeah, man, it's probably won't, but it'd be a good idea so they could get come free. How much time do I have? Nightfall. Fuck. Fuck. Shield uh. up. Attack, yeah. my lord. Oh my god, Robin. His other gifts. Does he? The gift of a great name. Facts. <laughs> yep. God. Goodbye, Lord. I feel kind of bad for Robin. <laughs> he needs to learn, though. He needs to learn. That sword is fucking sick. That hilt is fucking nice. A few days' ride from the King's Road. That, that'll take us. Us? Oh. No one knows what you look like. No one cares. 
and safe. Yeah. Well, where would I go? I don't care. I'm not your mother. Damn, I feel bad for Pod. Damn, she's sending him off to go do his own thing. Eventually. She didn't want my protection. Sons are still mine. You shut your mouth. I don't want anyone following me. I'm not All I ever wanted was to fight for a lord I believed in. The good lords are dead and the rest are monsters. Yeah. I feel bad for Big B too. She was like she failed everyone. Who the fuck is this? You told Lord Royce we're going to the <laughs> <laughs> <Lord Royce> on. <laughs> <laughs> They're so close to them. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> if I pay them well, they've seen what happens to men who disappoint me. So uh yeah. yeah. Far from here. Even Cersei Lannister can't get her hands on you. Good. What's the name? Okay, I'll find out later. Deep shock to us all. <laughs> she isn't. She's like she was a a force. To be reckoned with. <laughs> She's gonna be like, shut the fuck up. But just being in his presence was enough to make it so clear just how familiar. Oh, Tommen's whipped. What a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> just... Thank you so much for your kind words. Yeah, I shouldn't go fuck. Your Grace. Who the fuck are you? Cousin Lancel. Oh. I hardly recognize oh, you. Oh, that's Lancel? That's Lancel? Holy fuck. For my son's appearance. Uncle, that's quite all right. What the fuck happened to him? They call themselves sparrows. <laughs> okay. He's a sparrow now. Vision has its place, of course, but at a certain point. Okay. Your wounds from the Blackwater seem to have healed. It wasn't my wounds that needed healing. Yeah. Oh, he's talking about his emotions. <laughs> and of course, there was the king. His boar hunt. His wine. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a different person now. I found peace in the light of the seven. You, you can too. What do you mean by that? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Wait, was Lancel King Robert's squire during that hunting trip? Oh, God. Hey, Marge. I'm afraid my brother is keeping the king waiting. Oliver. <laughs> Please. Simon's dead. That means no one can force Cersei to marry me. Lucky you. Unlucky you. You think I... Mm -hmm. If she doesn't marry me, she doesn't go to Highgarden. Which means she stays in King's Landing. Mm -hmm. Which means you're trapped here with Cersei Lannister as your mother by law. Perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Perhaps. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Oh. Or, uh, is there something going on here? Are we going to kill her soon? Like, what's, what's good? What are we doing here? <laughs> But okay, wait. Was Lancel King Robert's squire back in season one? I I can picture the kid in my head, the squire. But I will be I will be honest. Back in season one, I was a fucking dumbass. I didn't know anyone's name. I knew like two. I knew like five people's name. So I had no. I don't know if that was Lancel or not. If that was, that sounded like you kind of got him drunk on purpose. You know, I knew he'd be more in danger if he was drunk hunting. Or he did something did something to that wine. Hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure Lancel was Robert Squire. I'm pretty sure. He, I'm pretty certain he was. If I remember correctly. I believe men of talent have a part to play in the war to come. Exactly. He believes in you. We'd have to find another soldier. Done with Westeros and Westeros. Yeah, there's a bigger war coming, buddy. A ruler loved by millions with a powerful army and the right family name. Yeah, his name was fucking Rob. <laughs> Who said anything about him? Or you can ride with me to Marine, meet Daenerys Targaryen and decide if the world is worth fighting for. Or Daenerys, yeah, she's perfect, yeah. Can I drink myself to death on the road to Marine? <laughs> okay, Tyrion meeting... Daenerys? Okay, okay. I could I could see that. I'm here for it. But won't uh, Daenerys recognize Varys and be like, no, you were conspiring with uh, Jorah and be like, get the fuck away from me or something? Uh, Daenerys fits that uh, description Varys gave too. Oh, what's uh, what's his face? Tyrion and Varys gonna think when they see Sir Barristan. <laughs> That's gonna be kind of funny. And it's slavery. They do not ask for the return of slavery. They ask for the reopening of the fighting pits. What? <laughs> <laughs> Where slaves fought slaves to the death. 
Der Herr. In the new world that you've brought to us, free men would fight free men. It's voluntary, I guess. 16. Hmm. You were sold into slavery, forced to fight to the death for the amusement of the masters and you're defending the fighting pit. <laughs> I learned to fight like a Dothraki screamer, a Norvoshi priest, a Westerosi yeah. knight. Soon... Bill's character. You're not the mother of Unsullied. You're the mother of dragons. I don't want another child's bones dropped at my feet. Yeah. No one's seen Dragon in weeks. For all I know, he's found halfway across the world. I can't control them anymore. Damn. Dragon queen with no dragons. She's doubting herself. Ah, uh, she's coming back for the dragons already. Tame them again. Ah, uh, wonder how they're gonna react to her. They're still gonna love her, or be kind of fucking pissed at her that she did that. Oh, yep. Oh, watch them be big as fuck too. Be like way bigger than the last time. Fucking A. Fuck, that bitch is huge. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking huge. Oh, and they're so mad at her, too. <laughs> so she completely lost control. Of them, so two of them are in there, and then she said one ran away that hasn't been seen in weeks. So, damn, that's fucking tough. This doesn't have to be our last meeting. No, but it will be. What? <laughs> you mean? You know what Stannis wants? He wants me to bend the knee. Yeah. What? Can you fucking? And he wants the free folk you, to fight for. Could you fucking hear him standing up there? What do you mean? How do you know that? Probably predictable. If he gets what he wants, I expect he'll be a better ruler than the fools sitting on the Iron Throne the last hundred years. But I'll never serve him. Damn, you go, man. You brought them together to save them, because none of them have survived the winter, not if they're north of the wall. Yep. Isn't that... Fuck my pride. Then, then bend the knee. This isn't about that. I get, I get he doesn't want them to die for Stannis. The moment I kneel for a southern king, that's all gone. How many tens of... Th mm. And you won't go out and rescue them, because why? You're afraid of looking afraid. Yep. Oh, I am. I guess it's more about he just doesn't want his people to die for Stannis. So they're going to die. Die for a better cause, I guess. They'll burn you alive. Oh. <laughs> Bad way to go. Yeah. You might want to rethink this. But it's better than betraying everything I believe. Oh, my God. A great hero. Until winter comes. And they all die anyway. The White Walkers come for us all, and there's no one left to sing. Yes, they're all gonna die anyway. But if you can't understand why I won't enlist my people in a foreigner's war, there's no point explaining. Fuck. I guess it's more about them fighting for their survival rather than fighting for someone else. The freedom to make my own mistakes was all I ever wanted. Alright. Well, fuck. <laughs> fuck, they're really about to burn him. Send him to the gods. <laughs> oh, he's he he's like, oh fuck, they're serious. He's gonna he's gonna kneel. I he better fucking kneel. Do it. Kneel and live. Yes, come on. It's that easy. It's that easy. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. Fuck. That was nice of him to say, at least. Darkness. Uh. Bro, that's going to take forever to burn him. That's such a horrible way to die. He looks scared. John, what are you doing? You can't watch? Is that what he's doing? Oh. 
would be hard to watch too. <laughs> Who shot him? Was it John? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's not bad. Damn, alright. Oh, this one didn't say directed by Greg Spence. Wow. Alright, so that was season five, episode one of Game of Thrones. Very good episode, as always. A lot of these episodes recently have been really damn good. Like, uh, really good at building, really good at storytelling and building storylines. You know, the writers are coming up with a lot of great storylines. So, so basically, after in the beginning, after Tywin's death, Jamie and Cersei were talking, and their main concern is that everyone outside, everyone else who is in King's Landing now, they will just they want the power. The power is low key up for grabs now that Tywin is there, and Tywin's not there to really stop anyone. You know, so the Tyrells are definitely going to take advantage of this, try and capitalize on this and just boot Cersei and boot Jamie out of there. Get them the hell out of there. Kill the Lannisters. Not like kill them, but just get rid of the Lannisters completely so they have no more power in King's Landing. And they, you know, because Tywin did see this thirst for power from the Tyrells to marry Tommen and marry Joffrey. And so that's why he wanted Cersei to marry Loras, but now he's dead. So... There's no no one like he was the last he was basically the only person preventing them from taking it over because like they'd make a move he'd counter the move you know and he was very good at that he kind of he saw a lot of things coming and he was able to counter all their moves they keep the balance in their hand they keep the power to the Lannisters but now that he's gone there's no one there to do that so that's our main concern which the Tyrells will probably take over not gonna lie because. When Sir, when uh, Marge was talking to Loraz in the in his room, you know, they're talking about Cersei, and then Marge is like, "Yeah, perhaps she'll be here. Perhaps, you know." And it's just like, okay, well, they're they're definitely gonna try and kill her, or they're definitely going to at some point because they need her out of here because she's like the last per last line of defense for the Lannisters, you know, who like actually have power. So, all right, love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, and then, and so then Varys and Tyrion are going to go, they're going to go find Khaleesi's, they're going to go to Khaleesi's because they believe, well, Varys believes, that she is the perfect person to rule on the Iron Throne. He thinks she is the perfect balance of everyone, all the good sides of everyone, you know, which, okay, I don't, I can't disagree with that. So, they're going to go and help her out now, which, okay, okay, love to see it, love to see it. Ask John. So then Stannis asks John to basically go talk to the Mance because Stannis wants to take over the North. He needs to. He wants to go and kill Roos Bolton, which hopefully he fucking does. If he does, he'll be like one of my favorite characters. Now he'll be easily top five. So, but he needs more men. So he wanted John to talk to the Mance to get the Wildlings on his side to fight for him to take over the North. But Mance is like, nah, go fuck yourself. He'd rather die than bend the knee which okay kind of a lot of pride in that but i guess it's more about because like mance got everyone together so they could survive and get past the wall and get to the and get to the other side of the wall because they're not going to survive this winter so it's wanted that's all he cared about really he didn't care about just the power he did it to save everyone which was very noble right and so he would rather not give up he'd rather not give that up give them away to stannis so he could live it just you know they won't respect him anymore and you know i i get it i get it it's more about them fighting for their survival rather than fighting for someone else but at the same time they're probably gonna die anyway so it's like you know if their survival is your main concern this is your best chance at this is their best chance at surviving now because if they stay on that side of the wall they're going to die when the white walkers get here so you know like what's kind of the point Mm, I don't know. And it's not like they're. And I get. I don't know what Stans is gonna do with them now. I'll probably just kill them all, or try and force them to fight for him, which they probably won't. I don't know. You might just have to off them all, which would be a lot. But hey, or he'll just leave them at the other side of the wall, let them do their thing, and just die slowly over the winter. But R.I.P. Mance. You know, he. I liked him. He was a solid character. Seemed like a really honest, really noble guy. But. 
RIP. And so yeah, that was Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 1. So comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.